Hi everyone, uh, we are joined here today by Andrei Zinkevich, uh, our first guest in uh, the series of podcasts uh, on tech specialists in Split Croatia. Hello Andrei. Hi, thanks a lot for inviting me. Super pumped to be your first guest. You're welcome. We are also very excited for you to be our first guest. So, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do uh, for work and um, how do you manage uh, living here in Split and uh, working on such a global scale? Sure, so I live and trade Split to be marketing since 2007 and uh, for the last eight years I just run my B2B marketing consultant company and last year I uh, opened a new and started to work on a new tech product called uh, Our I Plan. Uh, it's a, a marketing planning platform for B2B marketing teams. And I came to Split with my family almost two years ago. It was uh, mid summer of 2019. And basically, that's it. This is how, <laughs> how my story started and Split. So to answer your second question, how do I manage uh, my work from Split? That's not a big deal. As I mentioned, I started my remote work and my remote consultancy uh, in 2013. So for the last eight years, I worked remotely. For the first uh, three years, I was working with local companies, but like, let's say from local region, with like, these were Russian speaking countries like Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, Kazakhstan, etc. And uh, five years ago, I created a company called GetLeader. Now it's fullfunnel.io. And uh, we started to serve global companies across the globe from United States, from Western Europe, etc. So uh, remote work uh, wasn't a big deal for me. Okay, uh, seems like a lot of work. What about work life balance? How does that work out for you? Uh, this is actually the best part about living in Split. So uh, before moving to Split, I was living in Krakow. I'm uh, like I was born in Ukraine, but my family originates from Poland. So Krakow is my historical homeland. And uh, the most interesting part that uh, in Krakow, uh, like I did a lot of work. I had great success, like if I'll be talking about the business results. Uh, but the most interesting part that when I came to Split, I was able to launch that How I Plan project and uh, recruit our revenue and our team for Full Funnel that I created so much great projects like Full Funnel B2B Marketing Summit last year that uh, like almost 4,000 people attended across the globe. Uh, started doing our own podcast called Full Funnel B2B Marketing Show. Like, I wrote multiple articles, published a new book on LinkedIn demand generation, etc. And that's probably the best answer because uh, in Krakow, like before Krakow, I used to live in Kiev, and you know, Kiev is bigger than entire Croatia. So, that's you, you can imagine it's a city where you just live in a traffic jam. Yeah. So, you can just plan one meeting per day, and that's it. <laughs> and uh, you'll be lucky if this meeting won't be in a city center because <laughs> otherwise <laughs> that would be your last <laughs> meeting for the day. So Krakow as well became very busy. When I came to Krakow in 2015, it was like, let's say, quiet and calm. But uh, when the war started in Ukraine, lots of people from Ukraine moved to Krakow as well. Lots of people from Western Europe we're moving to Krakow and you know it's like historical city it's historical capital of Poland and uh, it's it it became literally similar to Kiev so it became like a huge traffic jam with all the consequences so like for me I was like uh, I needed to wake up early I needed to start my work around 6 a.m. because I needed to to pick my to pick up my son from school around 2 p.m. and then drive him to trainings to English classes etc. Because because like uh, 
you are driving, you won't find a parking place, you know, and you just need to <laughs> circle around until you wait him from his classes, then you need to uh, drive him to his training, you come back home around 9 p.m., you are completely done, tired, and that's it, you know, and, uh, it, uh, and it's completely different in Split, where you can, like, I live in Solin, and it takes me 10 minutes by car to get to the city center or to Split Tech City office or whatever, <laughs> you know, like, I was, I was kidding that, um, in one hour, sometimes, like, let's say, in the working hours, it will take you one hour in Krakow to, like, to get to the city center, uh, and, like, I was living probably seven kilometers far from city center, so it will take you one hour to get to the city center, and here in one hour I can be in Zadar. <laughs> yes, true, true. <laughs> so so that, that improved a lot, that work-life balance, because you have more time Absolutely. for other things now. Absolutely, and now, you know, I can, uh, like, I can drive my son to his training if I want, or he can, he can go by his own, by bus or whatever, but if I will drive him, I can sit down in any cafe, you know, because there are lots of bars, and, uh, like, yeah, his trainings, everybody knows me, so people, I always have a place to work. <laughs> and uh, you always enjoy, you know, sunny weather, so that's, that's not a big deal. And this is different from Krakow, for, for, like, of course, in city center you'll, as well, you'll have lots of cafes, etc. But let's say if you're, like, outside, if you're in some, like, Krakow district, it would be really hard to find some place, you know, to sit down and work. Again, I can like nowadays. I can just uh, take one hour break, go to go with my wife and uh, younger one uh, son to like Green Park Cafe to drink some coffee, you know, to to relax and come back and work. So and this is completely different. That's nice to hear that that you got that uh, after you moved here. Um, can you tell me? something interesting that happened to you once you came here and when did you know that this is the place for you and your family <laughs> so in terms of uh, something interesting basically it was you know uh, first of all uh, like uh, let me give you some background of uh, how we moved to split so when my second son was born every summer we were visiting croatia and basically our first visit to Croatia was like in 2015, and uh, I just I decided to make make like a small surprise for my family. They I told like pick up some stuff and uh, we'll just drive somewhere for one week. They were because we were talking a lot about Austria and they were thinking that we are going somewhere to mountains in Austria. And basically, my wife, she picked up some beautiful dress, you know, all of this stuff. <laughs> and then, actually, only when we just uh, crossed the border to Croatia, they realized that we are going to the seaside. But uh, it was a funny story. I, I just uh, will skip the part how we, move, how we were traveling to Croatia, because it was like <laughs> a huge adventure. But we came to Zagreb, and actually, we rented some apartments not far from the city center and uh, it was like around uh, 9 p.m. when we arrived we were hungry you know and we were like uh, that was the funny fact because in Krakow you have like for all apartments have numbers and here everybody has families yeah that. <laughs> true and I didn't I didn't know uh, like the surname of the, the lady from who we were renting the apartments so she told it and I'm like, oh my gosh, where it is? And I was like, you know, we're just moving between floors and then just old lady opened the doors like and we somehow half Polish, half Croatian, she just told, okay, that's the next floor, then you'll find these doors. So that was fine. Uh, we actually came, you know, and we were hungry, we went out, uh, so picked up the tram and <laughs> went in the wrong, uh, wrong, in the wrong direction. direction. <laughs> yeah, so, and then the guy, you know, the tram driver, he told, okay, so you don't need to pay for tickets, just go, <laughs> like, we'll be driving back way to the city center. So we came to, to the city center, and I was like, okay, I'm so hungry, let's go somewhere. And 
this is the first time we experienced Croatia and Pekara. And we came, I like, what is like, I, I sit there like just, you know, baking pizza, burek, all this stuff, you know, late night. I am like, oh my gosh, because in Poland, uh, everything is like closed. closed. I mean, in, in terms of Pekara and uh, all these bakeries. And I like, what is the best stuff? I am so hungry. She, uh, the guy asked me like, have you ever tried burek? I'm no. <laughs> It's like here, like this is for you. I'm like, and this was the best, <laughs> you know, the best ever burek I had. But actually, to make things fun, so we were like, uh, we had a little bit, then we had evening, then we were just uh, uh, walking through the city center, and it was like 12 p.m. and we picked up the same uh, the same tram, uh, so our younger one, uh, he was sleeping, and basically. This tram went to the like uh, not to like it, it wasn't driving the same direction, but it went to the depot, you know, to the station. So we we're like coming out and like where we are, like what's going on? You were on? truly lost. Yes, and the most funniest fact that uh, our like mobile phones were dead, so the batteries were dead, and we had no connection, nothing, you know. And I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> so let's do something, you know, no cars, nothing. <laughs> so we were just simultaneously going back to <laughs> towards city center, and luckily I figured it out like there was one car. I was like waving him, so he picked up picked up and drive to the our apartments and that was the first experience with Croatia very nice very funny uh, and completely lost and that's complete, that's the and completely lost so that's how we experience but basically you know uh, my elder son he had like he had a birthday at that time and that was fantastic experience so we were renting apartments in uh, Solina so you see Salin, Solina, <laughs> very similar. Uh, and this is like a very good place for small babies because uh, it's, it, it's not like it's, it's a sort of uh, not open sea, but it's... Yeah, it's nice and quiet yeah. and more calm. Like lots of people with young babies are kind of visiting that place. And basically, you know, the day my son, my elder son had birthday, we told like, um, I, and actually the landlords, they saw it in the documents and our yes. ID cards. And they asked like, you know, uh, what are your plans for today? And we told, well, we want to go to Zadar just, you know, to celebrate, maybe having some dinner in a restaurant, etc. And they're like, can you come back uh, before 9 p.m.? Like, I'm, yeah, sure, but I was thinking, you know, probably there are some rules and because you know babies and uh, with us there was uh, a big Slovenian family so they had five kids so I was and they had a little baby so I was thinking it's just because of this because little of them. baby yeah I told no worries and then we went to Zadar you know we were driving back and we are coming we see like lots of balloons you know and I'm like oh my gosh what's going on and uh, we lived on the second floor, so they were living on the first one or ground floor, and uh, we lived on the second floor, big apartments, you know, big terrace, and we are just going upstairs, and we see like like a huge, you know, banner, happy birthday, Dima, lots of balloons, you know, and they have this like fully served table, you know. They have this cake, and I'm oh my gosh, and they are singing, you know, Sret and Roger, and like happy birthday. And he was like, we all got stuck, you know. And my son, he like, he starts crying, he was like completely shocked. And I'm oh my gosh, you know, I was like, I was, I, ca I can't explain, I was like surprised, I was shocked. So then later, I was like, can I pay you, you know, thanks a lot, but they, no, 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 it's just our pleasure, you know, I was like, I was completely mind blown, and this is all about hospitality, you know, in some cases you can you can say, okay, this is just because you're, you are the tourist, you know, but people don't know if I will come next year or whatever, it's, yeah, not, it's, it's not about this, 
definitely and uh, you can just recognize this if you'll stay in this country later and later you'll see when you are like you'll be drinking coffee or eating dinner and like creations are fighting who will pay the bill first <laughs> that's true i have to agree that <laughs> yeah we are like that um, when it comes to guests when it comes to friends yeah and you know that's these are like all of these points you know that uh, you start to experience and that was our first fantastic experience and later we have never thought about moving away from krakow the only deal that actually the only issue that we had that uh, moved us or let's say uh, forced our decision was that we have bad ecology and probably you have heard uh, about our unfamous smog problem. Yes. And uh, unfortunately, all of us we started to have health problems. So the other one day I was visiting, I had a strong cough. I don't smoke. I played all my life football, you know, and I had this like tough cough. Uh, and I went to the doctor and she told me to make this like rentgen of lungs and then she was like uh, Like how many cigarettes do you smoke per day? And I'm like, I'm not smoking But she said it looks like you know your lungs look like that you like uh, Smoke at least one pack per day. That was crazy the same my wife she had uh, some issues with this face skin so finally she made some tests and the doctor said so you have two choices you need to leave uh, like you can stay in krakow but then you'll need to take some pills Medicine, yeah. until the end of the life or you need to change the climate yeah no uh, problems here <laughs> apparently yeah absolutely <laughs> so we never experienced this problem and basically that's it so we started uh, like since that time uh, every summer we booked uh, like apartments in Croatia for summer vacations and we even didn't you know didn't discuss any other country we loved so much Croatia we loved uh, every time I was coming here you know I was completely relaxed so my batteries were fully recharged and I was coming back full and full of energy. So that time again, we just, we have never been to Split. So like we have seen lots of movies about Split on YouTube. We knew that it's a beautiful city, you know, but <laughs> that's, that's really funny. So we have never been to Split and we started to consider, okay, so maybe let's move to Croatia. I had another choice. I, I was thinking honestly about moving to Antwerp, to Belgium, because this is our main market in terms of business. I have lots of friends there. I have lots of clients and my friends were inviting me, you know, to, to come there. Um, but finally, so we had the rented apartments in Split, and I thought, like, okay, let's let's give it, uh, like, let's give it a try. So at least we have these apartments. If we will be lucky, so we packed all the stuff in Krakow, and I thought, like, um, if we'll be lucky, if we'll find apartments, let's stay. You know, at least let's stay for three months. So the worst case scenario, if we won't be satisfied, at least we'll improve our health. Uh, we'll come back to Krakow, pick up our stuff and move to Gdansk. So it's uh, the Gdansk uh, is on the north of Poland in front of Stockholm. Um, and that's it. So we came on our second day. We found apartments in Solin. We were really lucky and we found like fantastic apartments, you know, with like panorama view, like completely mind blown. And uh, then we just rented you know these apartments uh, and the second day uh, we were in Solin there was like a wedding in our house yes you know? and there was like uh, they put some text on the entrance like please don't park cars you know leave them away so starting from 4 p.m. people started to celebrate <laughs> you know and uh, like we were we were going out, I was working that day, we were going out from home, uh, like just to go to Green Park, you know, to drink something. And 
they are like, ah, Polakia, Polakia, Dodgita, so like, <laughs> come here, like, these are our Polish guys, and like, you should drink with us, man. No, no, yes. no, send, no, 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 you should drink, you should eat, and that's it. So we stayed until the late night, you know, they were like, with, they were uh, like talking with kids and lots of fun. Uh, and the next day, actually, we went to the Green Park, and you have these cage balls, small, small pitches for guys to play. And you know, like for our elder one, it's like a little bit uncomfortable when you come to a new country, yeah, you know, to make new friends, etc. So I was like, the guys were playing, and I'm like, uh, let's just come to the pitch, let's pass the ball, you know, and we were starting to pass and the guys heard that we were talking different language and they immediately came to us like and started to talk in English like, would you like to play with us? I'm like, well, I'm too old for this, but <laughs> he will. And, you know, they picked my son, they started to talking to him in English and that's it. Basically, he is not flu he doesn't speak fluently English, you know, but they managed to, yeah, to they communicate managed, like yeah. half English, half Polish and that was it so he was so like he had so much fun and uh, basically that's another story you know comparing kids in Poland and Croatia uh, but anyway so he had so much fun and he was like we stayed in Green Park until 11 p.m. in Krakow it's like you know 9 p.m. and you'll have empty streets no everybody is at home and here you know people are hanging out and that was he was like you won't believe they added me to my whatsapp group like they have a whatsapp group they told like tomorrow we'll be playing again so they start playing six like uh starting from 6 p.m because it's not so hot and yeah. they play until the late evening you know and he was like super happy and because before we decided to move he told like well i you know I don't want to move, I yeah, have my football friends. club here, I have my friends, etc, etc. But like two days later, he was like, aren't we going back to Krakow? So sh do, do we plan to stay here? We told yes. Yeah. He wanted to stay. Yeah, that's that's the Croatian way, the, the community we have here. It's uh, It always works like that. Yes. Very welcoming and uh, it, it doesn't surprise me that he liked it and he wanted to stay. So you see, it's a long story, but I wanted to share some, like, uh, let's say, some nitty gritty details. <laughs> yes, about your move here. Yeah. And uh, when it comes to community, um, now we go back to your work. Uh, here we have an IT uh, tech community here in Split called Split Tech City. Uh, yeah. yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, what is your uh, view of the community? I mean, it's relatively young, uh, as is the whole uh, tech ecosystem here in Croatia, but it's growing. And uh, how do you uh, see it right now? How do you see it in the future? What do you like about it, the, the community itself? That's a good question, because, uh, you know, Croatia has a good PR when it comes to tourism. Yeah. Everybody True. knows about Croatia, not only because of Game of Thrones, but generally it's like a, a beautiful country, you know, and lots of people like from all the countries, you know, across the globe are visiting Croatia. But when it comes to business, and that was our like uh, our huge concern before moving to Croatia, because if you would like to search something in Google, you know, in English, obviously, uh, about business in Croatia, uh, communities, etc. Like, you won't find a lot. Not, not much visibility, yeah. Yeah. So that was the biggest concern, because you know how uh, people, let's say, how you call it, like, Gore, so people <laughs> outside of Croatia, they all tend to think about southern countries, like people are just drinking c coffee and wines, you know, relaxing all the day long, living on tourists and that's it uh, so that was our huge concern you know so we'll come and well for us it's fine because we have remote businesses but for like we were thinking in terms of kids you know like how they will grow in such of community uh, and just like two weeks before moving to split uh, i called my friend in zagreb 
his uh, his creation and he is uh, one of the earliest members of my community B2B marketers and founders and he told like don't go to split come to Zagreb you know it's capital all businesses here like uh, your guys are playing football Dynamo all of these clubs you know so the future is here like you need to and if you would like to go to the seaside it's just two hours you know and you'll be on the seaside so that should be a destination but I was like I like Zagreb I like Zagreb but uh, it's for me it's just like a crack of you yeah. know switching from the same city to another only without smoke so that's, that's yeah it's a continental city yeah yeah and like again it's busy you know all this traffic jams and I was completely tired of this stuff so I thought like no I'd like to get my own experience so the worst case scenario if I dislike it I will yeah. come back to the continental city and that's it um, so I, I came uh, I like we arrived without expectations and basically it's it's always good to have lower <laughs> expectations true. and then you know you'll be, be surprised be surprised <laughs> in a positive way yeah <laughs> so that's that's always good instead of you know wearing pink glasses coming up and then you're like oh my gosh that was my first experience of visiting Italy cause but that's another story <laughs> so anyway um, we came and actually I started to look you know are there any communities I had as well I had uh, uh, like one virtual friend, <laughs> if we can call it, uh, Petra Odak, she works at Better Proposal uh, and she she was as well in my community so uh, I chatted with her but she's not, let's say, an active part of Split Tech City so she told me there are some meetups like open coffee etc but like it seemed to me that it's not going too much here and then I just, you know, somehow uh, found split tech city I started so I translated you know like communities found that word they need so, so that's how I discovered you know in creation I discovered split tech city and then found that slack channel and I joined and honestly you know on slack there is not going too much you know conversations etc so I thought okay probably this is some sort of that community but the other day like I was uh, became in July and uh, until December 2019, I didn't even had a chance, but not, not didn't have a chance, but I always, I was always postponing, you know, my introduction to the community. To the community but yeah. then I saw like the guy was posting like, guys, uh, there is like a promotion on Masterclass, who wants to grab a deal? Like, and I PM'd him like, I'd like to get, uh, to get a deal. And that's it. So he then he introduced me to another guy uh, Alan and Alan told like we met for a coffee in in Solen you know chatted and he told me like, you need to get acquainted with Tony and I'm who is Tony and he is like he's founder of Split Tech City and that's it actually so he made an intro uh, I met Tony you know like early January of 2020 and he actually introduced me to the community. I was really surprised when he was sharing, you know, uh, this is one thing that you need to, probably you need to keep in mind about creations. So my first experience with everybody, I mean, with people who became my friends here, it's like, you know, for the first five minutes, you understand that you meet like a completely unknown person you have never met before, you know nothing about this person, but like after five, 10 minutes talk, it seems to you that it's your like long time friend probably you just didn't uh, you know you didn't have a chance to, to see this person you know for, for like some period of time and that's it and he was sharing all the stuff about the community you know his vision all the things that he was doing and I was like I was pretty surprised and from my point of view the only let's say how, if, if, if we can find some bad part and again it's just this PR so it, uh, I mean no, even foreigners like me you know it's it's really hard to find to something find. about yeah. this because again Split Tech City was doing fantastic stuff events you know like websites 
use all this uh, like all these meetups for the community members but it's just local so it's if 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 like if you are coming outside it would be hard to discover it of course you know you can install this meetup app but i am not for example let's uh, if if i'll take my example or lots of my friends we uh, like we try to focus and minimize our time we spent on social yes, media of on course. all of the, like if you'll take a look on my phone i don't have anything except whatsapp and that's it because and whatsapp is just for chat with with family friends etc et i don't spend time on social media and it would be extremely hard to define it you know to, to find to find this community and that was the only part and probably uh, this is something i'm I'm going to help as well to, continue to improve to, to yes. the community. And now you can see that we have this global podcast in English. We have a new website. True. And we have lots of ideas we, we want to implement. And uh, I hope it will help to, to become like a globally recognized community. So lots of people, uh, you know, who are dreaming of, let's say, uh, moving to a quiet peaceful beautiful place like split uh, and who want to meet like-minded you know tech entrepreneurs professionals etc they will be able to get it from split tech city and it will uh, as uh, that's the first part and the second part we all know croatia is a small country and uh, the the biggest opportunity and the biggest power in split tech city which I have seen is that this let's say probably the best word to describe it is this synergy between members and I think that what we can do for members is helping them to uh, expand their businesses outside of Croatia yes true and uh, to be more visible so this yeah. is as you as you can see this is a two-way direction so we can attract knowledge and minds outside of Croatia so people who are thinking about moving to these places but they have zero information and as you know I like I had my positive experience and I wanted to give a try but we did a uh, like small test with Estonia as well so in my community I made a poll like have you ever thought about moving to like to to a city like Split and like just in one hour around 40 people voted yes i want to go to split but i want to get more information because you want in terms of business of course yes. you know uh, you, are, you are not able simply to find that information and i was creating chats with these people adding tonya to these chats and was asking like guys what questions do you have you know and they were Voo. and this is something that we are going to change because if we can attract you know these minds to, to it always helps to grow the community because keep people are bringing the knowledge take a look on united states it's not the country that uh, you know had like <laughs> initially this country uh, uh in united states only indians were living correct yeah so they didn't have all this knowledge and all, all the knowledge power. came to But them what they did they started to attract the best minds across the globe so we can do more or less the same you know here and at the same time helping local members to grow because this is the power if uh, you know if local companies will be growing if foreigners will be opening companies here more people can stay here not going outside because this is one of the problems uh, like let's say small south uh, southern and eastern european countries have so people are moving towards uh, western europe and that's the best part Yeah, true. I would definitely agree. And that's one of the reasons why we have these podcasts now to speak with people who walked in your shoes and in shoes of an international that came here and uh, does business here and wants to contribute to the community. So, yeah, thank you very much for this lovely chat we had in the sun. Uh, Always a pleasure. And um, yeah, let's work together towards uh, goals uh, for Split Tech City. Absolutely. And uh, we hope you join us for all the other podcasts that we're gonna put up online for you. So thank you for listening and have a nice day. Bye. Around.